Hello everyone, welcome back on our YouTube channel. As you know, uh, till the last video we have covered the topic uh, till decision table testing. Now, uh, today we will start uh, another type of black box testing technique which is state transition testing. Maybe many of you who are already working in uh, in the f uh, field of computer systems or they have studied the field of computer system or IT or some embedded they know the state diagrams so like but for those who haven't worked with state diagrams or state machine diagrams then it's not a problem uh, here we will see in detail what the state transition testing is and how it covers everything so uh, basically the state transition uh, there are different states are given based on different scenarios and then you see that uh, if all of my states are covered and you write different test cases we will also give you an example component or system may be respond differently to an event depending on the current condition or previous history e.g. the event that have occurred since the system was initialized for example there is a state let's say in an ATM machine when you in first state uh, when you insert your card the first state is uh, enter the pin as you enter the pin it will either go to the valid state like uh, you can uh, take out or put in the cash or it will go to the invalid state that your uh, uh, password is wrong your pin is wrong so different states based on that we decide that based on our system we decide that we need to do state transition testing in this particular testing the previous history can be summarized using the concept of state like there is a concept of previous history our state diagram shows the possible software states as well as how the software enter exists and transition between the state like different states so first of all i will try to give you i have prepared an example i have taken it from ISTQB foundation level model test exam sample so if you see basically there are three states it, it is a question in, in ISTQB uh, model uh, exam sample paper as well I will try to explain you here for example the state 1 is TV off the state 2 like it's a, it's a state uh, uh, state transition diagram uh, for a television normally those who are working in embedded system they know that or uh, IT domain or computer system they know that they have to always for their system they have to prepare a state flow diagram how the system will behave on a different events on different states so over here we have three states TV off is one state TV standby is second state TV play is third state so how the different states will be changed they are showing if you power on your system your TV will go to off to TV standby state for example they are seeing it here they have written a test as test case number because we are doing testing so the first test case is you are currently start state is S1 you are here then what is the event or action you power on it is the input or you can say action or even event you can say then the final state will be it will go to S2 so it is the first test case which is written here let's see the second test case second test case is you are in state s2 okay we are here what is our action power off so this action we are doing power off so when we power off from state 2 where we will go to state 1 so it is our test case number 2 then they are showing test case number 3 you are in state 2 okay here we are what is the action RC on if you see RC on from standby if we do this action RC on the arrow is indicating we will go to state 3 which is written here similarly take test case number 4 you are in state S3 okay this is the state play we are in the TV is running in play state if we do RC off where is RC off here if we are in state 3 and we take the action RC off where we will be we will go to state number two if you see this arrow we will be in standby mode the final test case they have written is you are in s3 we, here we are you do the power off action okay it is the power off action then where you will go to s1 so based on the different actions or different events or different inputs your states will be changed whenever we have the complex system first of all we make the state flow diagram of that system we make uh, different uh, diagrams and then after that uh, we do the coding for example I will give you an example that the very basic example you have let's say a switch
which is controlling some system like let's say we have a system here so there are some state switch is on switch is off or let's say switch is in fault state so th there could be different states for example from you can go from on to off let's say this is state 1 this is state 2 this is state 3 so whenever you press on the button button press your action you will go from state 1 to state 2 your switch will be off similarly if you press on you will go to uh, state 2 s2 off to state on which is s1 maybe uh, there is some like while running there is some fault in the system or some fault in the switch let's say then fault state you will go from state 1 to state 3 so different states are possible so if you see in this diagram they have represented all the valid states there could be some invalid state that you could think about actually for example can I go uh, for example uh, uh, what is a what is a invalid state I will say uh, one of the invalid state could be if you are in play mode and you do power on action this is state invalid why TV is already running power is already on so from uh, state play you can not do power on or for example we can take this example as here as an invalid state power on it is an invalid state from play it will never go to standby with power on it will go to with RC off remote controller off so I think RC is remote controller so there could be some invalid states that you could think about but in this diagram they have given all the um, all the valid states and how we cover the test coverage of state transition you see if all of the states are covered at least once like if you see here uh, this is state 1, state 2, state 3. I have covered all of the states. I have covered all the possible transitions. These all are the valid transitions that I could test. Just think about any other valid transition. I think it's not possible. Off to standby, standby to off. Standby to play, play to standby. Play to off. Everything is possible. Play to standby, for example, with power on, with this action is impossible. Similarly, off to play with power on off to play with power on is impossible it's invalid state uh, you have to go to standby first then report uh, it's an old, old kind of structure of tv what they have given here so there could be many kind of states are possible i think now you understand the scenario now we will uh, read in detail so our transition is initiated by an event user input of a valid into field the event result in transition as we have seen like uh, here we have an event power on and based on that event we have a transition from state 1 to state 2 they are telling about this the same event can result in two or more different transition from the same state like there could be different from state 1 we can go to state 2 with the same action we can go to state 3 with the same action don't worry we will say in more detail about the state transition testing in upcoming videos as well uh, particular questions for this domain the state change may result in the software taking an action output calculation of error message there are different possibilities a state transition table shows all valid transition and potentially invalid transition between states as well as the events and resulting action for valid transitions so there could be possibilities the example we have seen there were only valid transitions there uh, like it, it will be written in the exam that all the valid transitions are given or, or are they valid plus invalid what what transitions they are giving everything will be written in the exam a state transition diagram normally show only the valid transitions and exclude the invalid transition so for the ISTQB foundation level there could be possible that it is showing only the valid transitions because invalid transitions could be many for example you have three states we have seen and we have uh, covered I guess six transitions over there five transitions so it's quite possible in invalid transitions are thousand are more than five could be 10 20 like invalid transitions are many transitions are possible maybe one or two are given 
or normally they are excluded as they have said test can be designed to cover a typical sequence of state to exercise all state to exercise every transition to exercise specific sequence of transition or to test invalid transitions like you can write test cases to cover each state to cover each transition to cover each valid transition to cover each invalid transition or to cover specific transition which you need for example here in this state diagram you have seen we have covered this transition power on power off rc on rc off power off you see power on power off rc on rc off and power off here as well so we have covered all the possible five arrows which are given here in five different test cases it's quite possible that over here you have uh, more than uh, five valid states so you have to write test case almost for every state so it's quite possible that you have to uh, do the state for every possible uh, write test case for every possible state a state transition testing is used for menu based application and is widely used within the embedded software industry like menu based which menu you need uh, on or off like for example your flight mode control system for example your atm machine as i have already given you an example so when you have menu based application uh, specifically in embedded system the technique is also suitable for modeling business scenario having specific states or for test of uh, testing screen navigation the concept of a state is abstract it may represent a few lines of code or an entire business process so it's an abstract process it depends coverage is commonly measured as the number of identified state or transition tested divided by the total number of identified state or transition in the test object normally expressed as percentage for example here we have five valid transitions if you see but like in the test cases we write only three test cases not all five so three out of five will be less than 100 percent i think around 75 or whatsoever 68 70 percent code coverage will be there for more information i think if you want to see you can go to uh, this as agile level or ad advanced tester but for currently for istqb foundation level i think it's enough that you understand this topic and then we will uh, do more practice questions